Are you there, Nassim? Hi, hi, Marit. Yes, I'm here. I'm just, uh, I'm just, uh, just finalizing this course uh, that the um, judges have just sent to me now. All right, all right. So give me one minute. I'm going to start in a minute. Okay. Mm, okay. Interesting. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can. OK. OK, let's, uh, let's begin. Uh, can you see my screen, Breed? Yes, I, ca I can see it, Nassim. OK, all right. Um, well, uh, good, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Um, uh, we had some excellent sessions uh, this uh, today. And I'm very pleased to be able to um, uh, share with you the results and uh, and 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 I would like to thank uh, all the participants and I would like to congratulate them for uh, some excellent presentations uh, today. So we started uh, our uh, morning session with uh, uh, with abstract uh, research presentations. This year uh, we had some unprecedented number of uh, uh, abstracts received. We had over 150 abstracts received. Submission deadline was 15th of December. Uh, the abstracts were peer reviewed in a double blind fashion. And out of those, we had 47 abstracts that were uh, revised and submit. And out of those, we accepted uh, 24 for the ISC. We had 17 universities from 52 organizations um, participating in today's conference. And I'm very pleased to see uh, the, the diverse uh, background uh, and very transnational uh, conference um, with researchers coming from uh, all different parts of the world. So I'm really pleased. I would like to thank our academic partners and I would like to uh, announce the names uh, of the uh, winners this year. Uh, before that, I would uh, <clears throat> like to explain how this process uh, works. So we had two independent judges that evaluated the presentations. One of the judge uh, was uh, live uh, on stage, chairing the session and also asking questions to the researchers. and 
uh, one of the judges were in the uh, in the audience and the criteria that we used uh, to uh, assess um, uh, papers was basically five uh, questions uh, a statement of the research question what was the what was the statement what is the problem that the uh, research is trying to address the second one was methodology was methodology correct and uh, sufficiently robust and thorough the third was conclusions future research and further recommendations how is the research going to advance uh, science and help uh, in in future uh, research uh, contributions the fourth one was uh, contribution to science overall and the fifth was on how uh, on the overall quality of the presentation we had uh, these are the researchers that presented their work uh, today uh, we had dr katrine becker from university of luxembourg bedratin gurkan from university of zejed hungary daniel uribe from usa deepak yadav from microsoft india gokhan kerbak from turkey dr joshua ll uh, from university of malta dr alexander lechewski from ukraine dr stanton heister uh, from usa portland state university ilyas yanu from queen mary university of london komal kalra from iit kanpur nilesh wasita from kraban professor christy uthas from portland state university professor tim wayne gartner from lucerne university of applied sciences dr yang li from nankai university china rahmal zahrani from university of birmingham ranyu shi from warwick business school simon herko from travel spirit foundation and yuvraj rajender from iit alabad india so this year uh, is quite interesting we have got uh, a tie <clears throat> in fact we have got a tie out on on uh, on both uh, the second and the the third prize so i'm very pleased to announce the names of our third prize winners which is a tie and this uh, third prize goes to yuvraj rajender of iit alabad india he scored 14 uh, marks out of 25 so each question had five points and there were five questions third prize also goes to dr joshua ll of university of malta who uh, also scored uh, 14 points so congratulations to both second prize is also a tie we have uh, similar marks uh, second prize goes to dr alexander lechwiski from ukraine who scored 19 points for his research on algebraic methods and professor tim wayne gartner from switzerland uh, is uh, also a second prize winner uh, for exactly scoring the same uh, points which is 19 according to the uh, marks that are given by the judges and i'm very pleased to announce the name of the the winners uh the first prize for um, the best abstract best blockchain research abstract award and it uh, goes to dr stanton hester and professor christy uthas uh from portland state university for their research on enterprise of blockchains so congratulations to to all the winners and it was a very very close uh, uh competition i have to say uh, some excellent very high quality um, abstracts that were presented today so it was very difficult to to mark the candidates hence why we have got a few few ties because uh, judges were uh, not able to decide clearly uh, the, the second and third prize uh, winners so i would like to congratulate uh, all of the, all of the winners and all participants who presented their work they were all excellent presentations and 
they were selected they reached this stage because they were very very good those who were um, uh, those who were not good and did not meet the original criteria uh, they were rejected and we rejected a lot of papers a lot of papers were rejected uh, so congratulations to all of you who presented their work uh, today i would uh, hang on Sorry, I stopped sharing. I've got a couple of more slides to share. My mistake. The other thing is, um, is, uh, is a fellowship awards uh, ceremony. We usually do it uh, in person every year, but this year because of COVID, uh, we have to do it online. You have already met uh, and, and heard our uh, fellow speak at, uh, in the previous session. So these are the fellows from last year. And uh, this year we received 67 nominations and of those 22 were self nominations and we long listed nine uh, candidates according to the, the fellowship nomination uh, criteria and uh, uh, out of those we elected one to the fellowship. So John Wolpert uh, from uh, Consensus and Baseline Protocol uh, is officially elected to the fellowship of the British Blockchain Association and I would like to congratulate him. Thank you very much. And we have got uh, about 15 minutes before we uh, ask uh, Hester Pierce, our closing keynote speaker, to give us a talk. Uh, so we can take a 10 to 15 minutes break and please do come back because uh, she's uh, an excellent speaker and very, very important topic also, uh, regulations and what's happening, not just in the USA, but also uh, elsewhere. Uh, so she's a fantastic speaker and I would recommend uh, all of you to please join us again. So uh, we'll take a, a, a 10 minutes break and then we'll be back. Thank you.